Throwing wrappers can be done from twice per day and up to 60 times in a shift. Wrappers are thrown approximately to a height of 15 feet and a width of 15 feet in order to clear the loaded trailer. Technique discussed in this resource is designed to reduce the force on the shoulder, back and neck. Throw only one wrapper at a time. Short and medium length wrappers should be thrown with three coils and longer wrappers with four. Throwing wrappers ensure that the cables are clear and they're not going to get stuck or caught on the worker's leg when throwing. Before generating the full force to throw the wrapper, a partial movement will help to warm up the body and preload the muscles and joints. This also helps to create some momentum for the throwing action. Body positions and movements that may be causative of injury include overthrowing the arm with the weight of the arm dragging on the shoulder, the nerves of the arm and overstretching the side of the body. Throwing the wrapper with the arm back in line with the shoulder causes the shoulder and the rotator cuff muscles to pinch with the shoulder blade. Rounding the shoulders forward reduces the space causing an earlier pinching. This pinching can lead to sharp pain and rotator cuff injury. To prevent this, the worker should set their shoulder blades back and down, maintaining the space for the rotator cuff. When throwing, the arm should be 45 degrees in front of the shoulder joint. The worker should aim to let go of the wrapper at approximately shoulder height. This position is relative to the upper body position as the worker will be leaning towards the direction of the throw. This early release reduces the impingement in the shoulder and also allows time for the arm to decelerate before the end of the shoulder's range of movement. Whenever possible, the loader operator should pass the wrapper over the load with the worker only throwing when absolutely necessary. In summary, ensure proper footing is established with a wide stable base. Bend the knees slightly and incorporate a 30% abdominal contraction while throwing. Keep the chin tucked in and stabilize the throwing shoulder by pulling the shoulder blades back and down. Perform one short preload swing, then wind the arm back and throw the wrapper up and over the load in a smooth controlled movement. Throw with the shoulder in a position approximately 45 degrees in front of the midline of the body. Throwing at this angle helps to reduce the shoulder impingement. Release the cable when the throwing hand reaches the shoulder height of 90 degrees, ensuring that the proper follow through is maintained as the arm swings past shoulder height. Do not suddenly or forcefully halt the swinging motion. Do not over rotate the torso when twisting to throw. Over rotation can result in mid or lower back strains. There are a few different techniques that can be utilized when using cinches. Changing your technique can help to spread the load. We recommend two different techniques that optimize shoulder and body positions. For both techniques, there are some common rules that apply. When cinching loads, if the worker overreaches and pulls down on the cinch, the rotator cuff can be overloaded and be pinched at the shoulder. When cinching, the worker needs to follow some of the same rules that apply for throwing wrappers. Set the shoulder girdles back and down. Align the cinch to about eye height, don't shrug your shoulders. When pulling down, initiate the movement utilizing your body weight. Don't drag on the shoulder girdles. Don't bend your elbows past 90 degrees until the load is off the cinch. Keep your head away from the cinch handle, ensuring that you are back far enough from the handle and that you are not directly in line with it. A recoil can cause a strike risk. Common mistakes include protruding the chin and head, placing load on the upper back and neck, bending elbows generating a force past 90 degrees, using one arm in an overstretched position, overreaching to grasp cinch handle, and leaning in too close to the load. In summary, ensure proper footing is established with a wide stable base. Maintain a 30% abdominal contraction while pulling on the cinch. Adjust wrapper so that the bottom of the handle is positioned at eye level. Keep chin tucked in and stabilize shoulders by pulling shoulder blades back and down. Keep the elbow slightly bent and close cinch by leaning back slightly, bending
bending the knees in order to use your body weight for the initiation of the movement. Once the cinch is past the load point, use the arms to push the handle into the locked position. Ensure proper footing with a wide, stable base. Maintain a 30% abdominal contraction. Adjust wrapper so that the bottom of the handle is at eye level. Place your hands on the cinch with the palm of the hand closest to the load facing you and the hand further along the cinch facing away. Set your shoulders back and down and tuck your chin. Pull down on the cinch using your body weight to initiate the movement. Once past the load point on the cinch, change your hand position and push with the hand furthest from the load to close the cinch. Keep your elbow up and push away along the line of the arm to maximize the force and prevent the load from being placed on the shoulder.